My name is Halili Knox. I've been in enterprise software training for about 10 years, which inspired performing arts and on-camera work and talent work and voiceover work and all kind of work. My name is Jane Gong and I'm a program director for City and County of San Francisco. I have the privilege of working on special technology projects for the Department of Technology. I have a passion for helping people and I have a passion for doing work that actually makes a difference. It makes me feel good at night when I go to sleep and think back and say that, wow, what I've done today, it impacts the lives of every single person in the city. As a technology professional, I have to say that there is certainly a need for more women and more women in leadership roles. The diversity in the leadership pipeline is also an area that you know needs a little love. A lot of love. A whole lot of love. Three, two. I'll contribute to the change for women's equality by showing up doing great work and demonstrating that the face of success can come in a variety of colors. There were a lot of roadblocks for small business owners when it came to permitting and licensing and also just finding a single place with consistent information that tells them how to start manage and grow their business in the city. So we decided to propose a project and we built the San Francisco Business Portal. They're not just constituents, they're not just our taxpayers and our voters, but they're actually our customers. We as a government are serving our customers. Any neighborhood I walk into in San Francisco, I can point to at least one business that I personally touched one way or, or another. And that really makes me feel good about the work that I do through projects like the Business Portal and SF Wi-Fi, DT is embarking on this new and exciting journey of finding better ways, more efficient ways to deliver services to the citizens of San Francisco. I often sit through a lot of senior management meetings where I am the only woman in, in the room and I know that our CIO is looking to change that. He's trying to recruit more women to come into the field of technology because this is often seen as, again, a male-dominated environment. I have felt unbounded and um, inspired to pursue a lot of things that over time I've recognized to be connected in ways that I didn't anticipate. This is the Weekly Buzz. You know, I, I followed the calling, but now put me in position to really spend most of my time doing things I love. It's, and I think that's the whole point, right, is that you want to feel inspired in your work. You want to find opportunities to allow your work to put you in service to others. And you want to be happy doing what you're spending so much of your time doing. My father was a journalist. My mother was a teacher, both very well-respected professions in China. When they finally decided to kind of give up their lives in China. It was because of me, and, and now I actually get to serve the city and county of San Francisco. It makes me really, really proud. It's not that this happened overnight. I've worked very hard my entire life to, to get to this point, and I have so much more to learn and so many more places to go, and I look forward to all the challenges that lie ahead. Really think about what moves you what you're passionate about, trust that you are sufficient and enough where you are to begin, and then ensure that you are being tenacious about getting to the next place in your evolution. But by all means, start where you are and know that that's enough.